accrual accounting and this time we are going to discuss the technique the formula to calculate incomes and expenses based on accrual concept or accrual basis remember in this technique or formula we will discuss that how the end result what is the end result by the way the amount of expense for the year and amount of income for the year this is the end result that we do need because we have paid for expense during the year but we are saying that all this payment is not our expense the expense figure would be more or lesser than the amount what we have paid so what we will do we will take payment of expense as a base and then we will add or subtract expense paid in advance or expense still payable in that amount of expense paid during the period in the same way for incomes we will base on the income received during the year okay cash received for the income during the year and then we will add or less with the amount of income received in advance and income still receivable so here we will discuss a technique in which we will see that how to calculate or work out expense or income for the reporting period so here we go like expense with closing balance of accrued expenses due and advance payments or prepayments so the formula will be expense paid in cash this figure we will get from cash book add closing accrued expense or we can call it as closing balance of expense payable or expense due or expense owing which is in fact our liability minus or less closing advance or prepayment which is in fact the cash paid during the year for the next year it will be treated as asset on the closing date of our current year so what we will get in result is known as expense for the year which will be reported in the income statement so this was the technique for calculating expense for the year in a case when we have closing balance of accrued expense and closing balance of advance payment so let's see what will be the technique with opening balance and closing balance if both opening and closing balances are given for accrued expenses due and advance payments or prepayments so we will start from payment in cash that would be appearing in the cash book add closing expense due or accrual less opening expense accrued or due this closing expense accrued is a liability for our this current balance sheet whereas opening expense due was our liability in the previous balance sheet so now we will be subtracting this and then less closing advance which will be our asset now and add opening advance which was our asset in the previous period and the end result will be expense for the year which will be reported in the income statement we will discuss this through a practice look this is just a formula or a technique that i discussed with you but when we will work out through a practice then it will give us a complete comprehensive concept that how to work out this through formula and also we will learn in this practice that how to treat 
these few information means advance payments or expenses owing or due or accrued and cash paid during the year for the expense how to treat these in ledger account so let's discuss this that cash paid for rent expense during the year is 7000 and opening balance of expense due was 250 opening balance of expense due means it was due in the last year and for this year it is opening balance of expense due 250 and opening balance of prepaid expense was 400 prepaid means it was paid in advance in the last year on closing date expense still due is 300 and prepaid expense is 700 so what we have to work out through this practice question number one rent expense number two accrued expense and number three prepaid expense let's see in this expense account we will put opening balance of advance in the debit side cash paid in the debit side and closing expense owing in the debit side whereas opening expense owing and closing advance will be put in the credit side and the balancing figure will go to the profit and loss account and obviously it is something 6750 which is the end result of this working if you put your concentration based on the technique or the formula that we discussed earlier this cash paid figure of 7000 we are adding opening advance in this and we are adding closing owing into it so total is becoming 7700 and opening owing and closing advance we are subtracting 250 and 700 and balancing figure what we are getting is 6750 that was its mathematical calculation but here in this t account you see its presentation in a ledger account so at the same time the ledger account for accrued expenses which is our liability will be presented as we will start from the opening balance brought forward in the credit side 250 and then we will transfer this opening balance of 250 from accrued expenses account to the expenses account you can see it is appearing in the debit side 250 and then in the credit side of expense account 250 and then closing balance of accrued expense we have to place in the credit side since it is a liability and its balancing figure 300 is appearing in the debit side as carry forward balance for prepaid expense account which is in fact our asset we see its opening balance is being put at the debit side 400 and then we will transfer its opening balance to the expense account by giving credit to the prepaid expense account 400 and you can see its 400 is being placed in the debit side of expense account as well and then 700 will be debited in the prepaid expense account as a closing balance and when we will make total of this debit side which is 1100 by subtracting 400 from this we will get the carry forward balance of 700 for this prepaid advance expense account which is in fact our asset well i can understand that you are little little confused okay i can hear your heartbeat as well please don't get confused this practice question was not like for something to give you a full fledged uh, concept of accrual based thing it is just a feeler that how do we do this accrual accounting so no worries don't get worried and uh, especially i will say that this accrual will become 
very interesting for you in the upcoming modules when I will discuss the concept in detail that how do we work out accrued expense based amount to be closed in the income statement and accrued income based amount to be closed in the income statement. So just remember these few tips the ITTRs okay and uh, wait for the next module. So the ITTR for this module is that cash paid during the year is always different from the expense during the year and in the same way cash received during the year would always be different from the income for the year. And the expense is measured based on its belongingness to the income state in to the reporting period or to the accounting year. And in the same way, income is measured based on its belongingness to the reporting period or the accounting year. Look, we have experienced in this practice question that the advance payment that was made in fact in the previous year was taken as an expense in the current year and the advance payment that we made in the current year we are not recognizing it as an expense in the current year rather we are subtracting this and taking it to the asset account the prepaid expenses so be belongingness yes belongingness is something very important that if that payment belongs to the current year we will take it as an expense if that does not belong to the current year we will not take it as an expense in the income statement well the next thing is relating to the formula that closing due will always be added in the cash paid or even cash received figure if it is an income and if it is opening due it will be minus from the cash paid amount or if it is income from the cash received amount we will discuss this thing in detail but ITTR means that you have to remember this thing that closing due plus and opening due minus. Closing due plus opening due minus. Good. And if it is advance, so opening advance plus and closing advance minus. Remember, opening advance and closing advance. Yes. You can rewind this video to learn this ITTR once again. Thank you.